Hello, I'm Alex Davies, founder of Wealth Club, and today I'm with Tim Levitt of NVM to talk about the Northern VCTs. Hello, Tim. Good morning. Um, tell me about the Northern VCTs. What do they aim to do for investors? So the Northern VCTs uh, were some of the earliest VCTs to be launched uh, in the mid-90s to the beginning of the 2000s. Um, they have about 270 million under management and they aim to invest in a diversified portfolio of high growth businesses. And there's been a big change with the business recently. Um, tell viewers about that. Indeed there has. MVM were approached by Mercer Asset Management uh, in the late summer of last year uh, with a proposal that they should take over the management of the Northern VCTs. Uh, from MVM um, and we considered the pros and cons of this and decided that there was quite a lot in it for the shareholders. So what does it mean for investors? So for investors it means that we are now part of a group uh, which is totally focused on venture investing and totally focused on the regions and that will have a number of benefits. Firstly they have eight regional offices and 60 investment executives who generate around 2,000 deals per year. Now some of those are well below the level at which we would consider investing, but so many of them are being nurtured by Mercia and will become opportunities for the future over and above the independent portfolio that we're delivering. So there's a scale issue for us. The second is that Mercia uh, manage non-state aid funds as well as state aid funds, and that gives us more flexible funding and that is particularly interesting to us because one of the uh, issues with VCTs generally is that they're no longer able to do replacement capital or acquisition finance and opportunities arise all the time in the portfolio where Mercia's funds will co-invest with the VCTs. And uh, are you sticking around and is this, uh, the team, I is am. it going to be the same um, team? The whole team uh, are transfer, have transferred now to Mercia led by Charlie Winwood and me and I'm going full-time as a consultant for 12 months and then part-time for the whole of uh, 2021 and possibly beyond. So let's talk about the VCT. Um, how much are you looking to raise this year and what are you going to use it for? Uh, we're looking to raise 40 million to invest in further new uh, investments in the diver diversified portfolio and follow-on investments. Uh, in 2019 we invested 40 million pounds uh, approximately half of that in follow-on funding. We expect within Mercia that we will continue that rate and also have the benefit of further deal flow from the Mercia uh, co-funds with us. If we look at the um, current portfolio, can you explain how it's made up? The portfolio is split uh, between the mature portfolio being those companies we invest in prior to 2015 in which we have 85 million value and the new portfolio which is 30 companies in which the value is 100 million. Um, and going forward uh, we expect to be investing obviously in the new portfolio and within that I expect that around 60% will be in technology based businesses and 40% will be broadly spread among some tech enabled businesses and some traditional businesses. So let's talk about the new types of companies you're investing in. What are you looking for? And perhaps you can give me some examples. Yes. The key factor in all of these investments is the people. It's somewhat of a truism that we back people, but it is particularly important in early stage deals. There are you know, a wealth of businesses coming to us, many software businesses, and we are differentiating them by obviously the size of the market, the differentiation of their product, but particularly the experience of the people and whether these people are going to uh, frankly be good enough to withstand the rigors of being in an early stage business. Can you give me some examples of some recent investments? Yes, uh, first one, a uh, business called Voxpot Me. This is a marketing software company. Uh, technical base in the West Midlands, sales base, commercial base in the USA. This was a joint deal with Mercia. 
uh, that we initiated actually before they approached us. Uh, the second deal is Tutorful. Tutorful is a tutoring business, private tutoring business, being built by a young entrepreneur, uh, originally came actually from Bailey Gifford, uh, called Mark Hughes, and we have backed him to go online as well as offline with this business. The third business is completely different, very consumer orientated. We backed a young man called Archie Hewlett, who's founded a business called Duke and Dexter, which is in fashion footwear. And the final business, which we've uh, done recently, uh, is a business called Quotevine. Quotevine is a software business uh, in the asset management space. Um, and that we backed that one for two reasons. One is the entrepreneur himself, and secondly, a very strong non-executive chairman who's co-invested with him, uh, whom we have backed before. What about some of the more mature companies you've got in the portfolio? How are they doing? And they're doing pretty well. Um, obviously, they're very important to the shareholders because they um, are the ones which are likely to pay the dividends or fund the dividends in the near future. Uh, two in particular, which uh, are starring at the moment, a company called Agilitus. Agilitus is a computer hardware uh, management and support business. Uh, which we backed uh, three years ago. It's grown very well. The next one is LineUp. Uh, LineUp is a SaaS uh, software business in the media sector. We back this as a complete startup, so quasi I, uh, purchase of IP uh, from a much larger business, and this business has grown steadily over the years. And how involved are you in these companies? We are very hands-on. Um, in addition to uh, the investment executives themselves, uh, we have brought on board a number of uh, operating partners in the areas of digital marketing, sales, product development, uh, legal, uh, talent uh, resource management. And in addition to this, this will be one of the attractions of going to Mercia is Mercia also have an added value team. So in addition to what we do, we put people in actually to help the businesses. The investment profile's changed a lot with your VCT, as, mm -hmm. as with all. Um, you've had very decent performance in the past. What does it mean for performance in the future? Are you still going to keep giving you know, consistent dividends? The objective is obviously for all of us to create capital uh, wealth as well as pay consistent dividends. And because the early stage portfolio is not dividend yielding and it takes time to develop. The dividends have been supported in the last two years by the mature portfolio and I anticipate that that will be much the case for the next two years. We've set ourselves a target of paying a 5% dividend for Northern 2 and MVT and a 4% dividend based on uh, closing net asset value for Northern 3 for the foreseeable future subject to exits. Have you had any recent exits? In 2019, we've exited three businesses. Uh, the first is MSQ, which is a marketing agency business, uh, which we sold to LDC uh, and made 2.7 times our money, an investment of 3.5 million. The second is a business called Love Energy, which is an energy management business, business to business. Uh, which we sold to LDC again uh, and made 3.5 times uh, return on our investment. And the final one uh, is Closer Still, which we sold for the third time. The, originally, we invested in this company in 2008, and the first sale was to Phoenix, uh, where we took equity as well as uh, cash on completion. Uh, Phoenix then sold the business to Inflection, where we again rolled over into shares. Inflection sold the business to Providence, which is a US-based VC house. And overall, over the eight-year period in which we held this investment, we made 7.8 times our money. With the new sort of types of companies you're investing, is that more the sort of return you'd be looking for from a company? That's a very interesting question. Uh, we are seeking uh, in the higher risk investments to make eight or more times return but we have matched the portfolio with some lower risk investments 
where we are targeting to make two to three times return. What would you expect the failure rate of the new portfolio to be? Statistically, uh, early stage portfolio failure rates are about 25%. Um, as yet, uh, in the th three years since 2016 that we've been investing, we have not had a failure, although there are a number of companies which are the, the net asset value has been reduced. Okay, and is the because you've still got 40 odd percent of your portfolio in old companies, is there a temptation just to keep those so you can keep paying a dividend or is there a temptation to get rid of them so you can uh, realise some returns and pay dividends? One has to realise, recognise rather, in uh, unquoted investments that you are a co-investor with the management and the management are quite often the people who can sense when is the best time to sell the business and where you are. So it's quite difficult to manipulate things, to hold investments, to pay dividends, when in fact the right time to exit is when the company can demonstrate to a buyer that it's growing fast and therefore they will pay a high multiple to buy the business. And two more questions. You obviously have had the Mercia deal. Is this really going to change much? Do you think it's going to change the way you invest in the future? No, definitely not. Uh, a great deal of the negotiation uh, with Mercia was about MVM's VCT team being able to continue to meet the investment strategy agreed with the VCT boards to build a diversified portfolio and both Mercia and ourselves want to go out and generate independent deal flow alongside the deal flow we get from Mercia. The way I would describe it is that it's business as usual, but better. So Tim, if I'm going to invest in a VCT this year, why should I choose Northern? If I was you, I would choose the Northern VCTs uh, for a number of reasons. One is our consistent track record of the investment processes that we have been deploying, delivering returns to our shareholders. You'll be buying into a portfolio of companies which, in the case of the mature businesses, have good prospects for divestment and therefore support the dividend. In the case of the new portfolio, contains some exciting opportunities. Tim Levitt, uh, manager of the Northern VCTs, thank you very much. Thank you.